Panasonic Jaguar Racing had a humbling start in Formula E, arriving in the 2016-17 season to play catch-up with the established teams. They finished bottom of the team's championship, proving how challenging the series can be for a brand new team. Jag's second season was more successful as they secured sixth place along with their first podium. Thanks to even tougher competition, Jaguar could only manage seventh last season, but a late surge saw Mitch Evans pick up three podiums, including the team's debut victory in Rome. Evans' consistency, pace and racecraft allowed him to maximise the car's potential and take 105 of Jaguar's 116 points. It was a desperately difficult campaign for Mitch's teammate Nelson Piquet, who was replaced halfway through the season by Alex Lynn, having scored only one point in the first six races. Mitch Evans will continue with Jaguar this season, and he'll be joined by Formula E rookie James Collado. The 30-year-old Brit is no slouch, with a GT World Endurance Championship to his name. But can he keep pace with Evans as Jag chase their first championship? It's a new experience and a new challenge. Um test is kind of going okay. We, I did make a mistake this morning and uh, thought she put it in the wall. But you know, that's part of part of learning process, I guess. So um, it won't happen again. But yeah, we're just running through a program, not necessarily concentrating on, on performance, just trying to learn as much information as possible for my own benefit, really, going forward. So uh, that's the target. And uh, yeah, we'll just continue like this and uh, see how we go. With a reputation for luxury and performance, Jaguar's history stretches back to the 1930s and features some stunning machines. The Evolution of Jaguar The evolution of Jaguar started in 1936 with the SS Jaguar 100. It was the first car to feature the iconic Jaguar hood ornament and only one fixed head coupe was ever made. The 1949 Jaguar XK120 with a top speed of 200 km per hour interested Jag's first US customer, none other than Clark Gable. The 1951 Jaguar C-Type with early models having a 200 plus brake horsepower and only 53 of them ever being built. The C-Type was a two-time 24 hours of Le Mans winner and the first Le Mans winner to average 161 km per hour. The 1954 Jaguar D-Type with its deformable aviation fuel tank was a triple 24-hour of Le Mans winner in 1955, 1956 and 1957. The 1961 Jaguar E-Type, a top speed of 240 km per hour and 0 to 100 km in 7.5 seconds. Enzo Ferrari once described the E-Type as the most beautiful car ever made. The 1984 Tom Walkinshaw XJS. The XJS won against the odds at Bathurst in 1985 and set the fastest ever touring car speed at that event, 296 km per hour. The 1988 XJR9 with a top speed of 394 km per hour. It was the 1988 24 Hours of Le Mans winner, Jaguar's first Le Mans victory since 1957. The 1990 XJR15, a 6-litre naturally aspirated V12 engine with only 53 of them ever being made. It was the first road car with a chassis and body made entirely from carbon fibre. The 1992 Jaguar XJ220, 542 brake horsepower and 0 to 100 in 3.6 seconds. At the time was the world's fastest production car with a top speed of 343 km per hour. The 2010 Jaguar CX-75 concept car, full torque vectoring 778 brake horsepower, featured in the 2015 Bond movie, Spectre. The Jaguar I-Type Formula E Gen 1, 268 brake horsepower and 0 to 100 in 3.1 seconds. It had a maximum power output of 200 kilowatts and maximum regen energy harvesting of 150 kilowatts. The 2018 Jaguar I-Pace, with a range of 373 to 470 kilometers, is Jaguar's first fully electric production car and winner of over 62 international awards. And finally, the Jaguar I-Type Formula E Gen 2 car. Panasonic Jaguar racing driver Mitch Evans secured Jaguar's maiden Formula E victory at the 2019 Rome E-Prix. Can Panasonic Jaguar break fully free of the midfield this season and fight for the title? 
The challenge begins on the 22nd and 23rd of November when Formula E kicks off again at the Diria E Prix.